Welcome back, it's Nine, and today we have another big video for you guys talking about PS5 being the top global trend on Twitter this year, and we are talking a bunch about the PlayStation 5 operating system coming soon for us to see, and also some of the features that it will have. Now, before we get into this, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. Now, let's get right into this. Starting with this article that comes from PushSquare.com titled, PS5 was a top global trend on Twitter earlier this year. Here's what Twitter's chief financial officer, Ned Siegel, told investors during a recent earnings call. PlayStation leveraged an 89% global increase in video game conversation on Twitter in late Q1 to build interest and awareness for the PS5. Their successful takeover campaign with a branded emoji, a promoted trend spotlight, and first view resulted in PlayStation being the top global trend with over 1 million mentions over two days and a four times higher engagement rate than the benchmark. And this gives further evidence to what I've been saying. Two videos ago, we were talking about how the PlayStation is going to destroy Xbox 3 to 1 when it comes to sales by the end of the generation. And this is further evidence of just what I was talking about, where they have the interest of the audience, the community. People care the most about the PlayStation brand on YouTube, on Twitter, on Google searches. PlayStation is dominating in every single way when it comes to the conversation, which is really the only thing that matters right now because these consoles aren't on the market for our wallets to speak for us. Xbox is just not keeping up with the pace when it comes to the conversation, but I guess we'll see when the consoles launch. We'll let these numbers speak. A lot of people saying, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You're biased. You know, you're just looking at it from one perspective. You're not thinking about the subscription services. And no, I'm really not because we're talking about hardware sales. We're not talking about subscription services, but this does fall in line with what I was telling you guys. I've been saying that Xbox is going to stop making hardware before everybody else. They are going to be focusing on Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate, pushing that xCloud service with Game Pass Ultimate for people to get their hands on their games through that means. They're not worried about selling a console. They just simply aren't. And that's the book that they want to go with. They aren't interested in Sony's playbook of exclusives and, and great hardware that is taken advantage of by their first party devs. They are not interested in that. They want to be a PC and they want to be a service package, which is basically what they have done. And I'm telling you, by the end of this generation, do not expect Xbox to come with another piece of hardware unless some miraculous way they sell way more than Sony does or they sell close to what Sony does, which is not going to happen. I just don't see a future where that happens. I think Microsoft has made their decision, but they don't want to make that decision so quickly as to cut off everybody who is invested in the Xbox ecosystem when it comes to their hardware. I know a lot of people who buy their Xboxes and they would be very upset if Xbox didn't make any more consoles. And then, you know, nev nevertheless, they would just go over to the PlayStation brand and I'm sure they would be happy over there. But at the end of the day, if you have people investing in your platform, you cannot abandon them. And Microsoft has abandoned many business endeavors and at the expense of the consumer. So that's my two cents on it. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of that. But on to our next topic, and this comes from PSU.com titled PS5 OS, info due soon, says Insider, teases deep level integration with games. Ahmed's comments come following mention of a PlayStation Activities feature, which has yet to be revealed by Sony. This also harkens back to a Wired interview with Mark Cerny last year, which mentioned a revamped user interface. This tweet says, this is something we should start hearing more about soon. Deep level integration between the PS5 OS and games to improve the overall experience for users. And he is retweeting Gamatsu saying, Game Reactor preview article for WRC9 mentioned an unannounced PS5 feature. Article was here but was taken offline. And it says, also as a free update for those who get WRC9 on either PS4 or Xbox One, the game will upgrade to the next gen versions on PS5 or Xbox Series X. And we're looking forward to seeing how performance, graphics, or features such as PS5 activities feature an instant deep link to specific races directly from the console's menu, reveal the future of rally racing. So this all ties in together. So I'm going to discuss this next article as well, and then we'll talk about it all collectively. It comes from PSU.com titled PS5 Activity System Revealed will allow you to access individual features of a game instantly. 
This is in regards to an instant access feature. And this comes from an interview that Game Reactor had with WRC9's director and product manager. And they said, however, it is the improvements focused on the execution of the software that can end up changing the experience completely as WRC9 will implement fully asynchronous and optimized loading using the new super fast SSD memories so that the players get behind the wheel in no time, while the function of the PlayStation 5 Activities system will propose instant deep link links from the start menu to directly access races or parts of the game with the intention of keeping players hooked. So this really goes back to what Mark Cerny was talking about, being able to jump into games instantly. We've talked about patents, and those patents have revealed that we are going to be able to jump into games right away from the menu without any loading screens or virtually any loading screens at all. And this all comes together. This all all matches up and I think this is a foreshadowing to what we can see with the PlayStation 5 operating system there will definitely be a tab and I believe that tab will show all our friends and what they're playing and they will have access to jump right in if it's Call of Duty we can jump right into their game if there's an available slot and it will not take long it'll be a matter of seconds before you're in there and playing with your friends and I think with rally racing as we we're talking about it'll be the same case where we can jump right into races or if there's something that you need to do like an objective in a game you can jump right in so it just makes games so much more accessible and it just takes all that loading and waiting time out of the equation and if you guys know this generation and last generation as well there was a lot of install times there's a lot of loading times there was a lot of download times all of these things are coming to a minimum now. We are talking about being able to download games, the portions that we want to access right away and not have to wait for the entire thing to download. We are also talking about being able to access our games in an instant rather than having to wait around for that as well. And of course, we can't forget this. If you guys play Call of Duty or any type of multiplayer that gets frequent updates, you know that... When it updates, it then has to transfer everything. And when it transfers everything, that almost takes as long as updating it in itself. So really, it's exciting to not have to do that anymore. And if you guys are like me and you do dabble in games like Call of Duty on the occasion, you know that these wait times are ridiculous and I, I can't wait for them to be gone. I'm so excited to just not have to deal with that anymore across all games. Like this is a big deal for me personally. And I think for a lot of you as well especially considering this is a feature that they're implementing. Overall, I'm really excited to see what the PlayStation 5 operating system has to offer. This is one of my biggest like wish list things where they really revamp it and make it so much more user friendly and add some features that we never had. The one thing I love that PlayStation does is they do things in a minimalistic way where it's not super in your face. It's simple and it works and that's what I love about PlayStation's OS. Now, obviously it's not the flashiest thing in the world, but sometimes having that flash is not necessary if it's gonna bog down your systems. But regardless, I can't wait to see what happens in August. I think we are due for a reveal soon. We are going to see the features. We are going to see a price, a release date, a pre-order date, some more games. I think this has to happen in August. Whether it be in one event or whether it be in two events in August, it has to happen. I can't imagine them going past September to tell us a release date and you know reveal pre-orders. That would just be madness because it would be too close to the release date, which I believe is in November, given that they have said that it's not going to be in October. But I'm going to pass this on to you guys and ask you, what do you think of PS5 being the top global trending thing on Twitter? Is that foreshadowing to what we can see when it comes to the sales? And what do you guys think of the PS5 OS features that we're going to get all this quick action of jumping into activities is this something that excites you let me know in the comments as always please if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos hit the like button follow me on twitter link will be in the description share this video with a friend and i will talk to you guys on the next one take care